წარმოადგენს კომპანიას ვირექსი, ეს არის ვირტუალური რეალობის წარმოებელი კომპანია და ჩვენ თქვენით პლატფორმას ტურისტებისთვის რომ შეიძლონ ადგილები ვირტუალური რეალობის მეშვეობით და წინასწარ შეარჩიონ სად წავიდნენ შემდეგ ტურში. აქ არის ჩაწერილი ჩვენი აპლიკაცია ჩვეულებრივ ტელეფონში, ეხლა ყვარელი ყვარელის მარანი არის გადაღებული და შეიძლება შეიძნოთ ყვარელი როგორი არის შეიძლება გაიგეთ. ლოგიკური არ ბევრი არის ვირტუალური რეალობაზე პროექტები, იმიტომ რომ ვირტუალური რეალობა ყველაზე დიდი ტრენდი არის ბოლო 10 წლეულის განმავლობაში სავარაუდოდ და ამიტომ ძალიან ლოგიკური არ რომ ბევრ ბევრს უნდა რომ ვირტუალური რეალობა მოსინჯოს და გააკეთოს რაღაც პროექტი. რატომ ჩვენ იმიტომ რომ ჯერ კიდევ ჩვენ ერთ-ერთი პირველი კომპანია ვარ საქართველოსში და რეგიონში მთლიანად ვინც აწარმოებს ვირტუალური რეალობას და ძალიან უნიკალური პროექტი გვაქვს რეალურად ჩვენ რომელსაც პირდაპირი კონკურენტი არ ჰყავს და ძალიან ბევრი უპირატესობა გვაქვს სხვა კონკურენტებთან შედარებით და ნახოთ ჩვენ რეალურად ყველა წარმატებას უსურვებთ და უბრალოდ იმედი გვაქვს რომ ჩვენც მათთან ერთად მივიღებ და ფინანსებას. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Shall I begin? Please. Yes. Okay. Good morning. My name is Nicolas and I represent Virex. We are matching people to places using virtual reality. Now, our team consists of six people and we have more than 10 years of experience in computer graphics, visual effects and technology. It all began three years ago when we uh, were collaborating on, on, on multiple projects uh, and we found out that, okay, we have a good synergy. And right at the same time, we first tried virtual reality using Oculus Rift. And we were so impressed and so excited about that that we said, we need to quit everything and start working here. And we said, okay, let's create virtual reality. We all know that virtual reality is a thriving ecosystem, right? All the big players, all the major companies are investing in virtual reality, especially hardware. And studies say that there will be more than 150 million virtual reality users worldwide by, by the end of 2018. The problem is the more hardware there is on the market, the more is hunger for high quality content. And our vision was rather than creating virtual reality for games and entertainment, let's empower business with virtual reality solutions. Let's create virtual reality for, for business, for marketing, for, for architecture, for all of this. And the thing about us is that when we don't have something, we create it. And the problem at that time that in Georgia, almost nobody knew what virtual reality is. So we had to create a buzz. We had to make sure that everybody knew what virtual reality is. We held events, we held game jams, hackathons, conferences, everything. And we made sure that everybody saw virtual reality. We actually had more than 3,000 people try virtual reality for the first time in their life. Unforgettable, isn't it? Uh, and then we made sure that every official in Georgia also knew what virtual reality is. So we had two prime ministers, vice prime minister, and the president of Georgia using our virtual reality. Now, the thing about us is that we love experiments. And in this quest for, uh, for the correct content suitable for us, we created experiments for architecture and real estate. We created virtual reality ex uh, exper experiences for architecture in Georgia and in the US. Then we created something for, for education, something for cultural heritage, virtual museums and stuff like that. And in the end, we came to the, to, to the tourism, tourism sector. And we found out that tourism experiences were the most demanded and the most effective tool to promote places. And of course, we love tourism. We love to travel. <laughs> uh, now think about tourism. There are 1.2 billion people around the world traveling worldwide. Out of those 1.2 billion people, 75% apparently make their decisions where to go using internet. On the other side, there are hotels, restaurants, and, and resorts looking for those 1.2 billion people. And their relationship and finding those people is just as complicated as this slide. So we decided to create a platform, a mobile immersive platform for, uh, that matches people to places. It will help you experience place before you go there. Rather than seeing, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, right? A virtual reality experience is worth a, a million pictures. So it will help you experience the place, make your the decision wisely and better, and then go there and actually have fun when you go to the places. So 
the application will study your interest, it will study your likes, and it will generate offers of virtual reality experiences for you. So uh, our assumptions of uh, revenue models were the following. We would receive subscription from, from the hotels in the application. We would have the booking commission from the booking made in, inside the application. We would also so have some revenue from the product placement from companies and also deals and uh, sales commission that we would include in the, in the content. And we started to test those assumptions. And on this journey to test these assumptions, we started attending events, uh, tourism fairs, the biggest events in the world. We actually had more than 250 tourism agencies loving our content and waiting for us to create this content and send it to them so they can use it for sales. We have government of Georgia, real estate sector, mountain resorts company using our application to promote the, co the country. So, of course, an interesting business is always packed with opportunities and packed with competition. So actually, we had to be quite, quite creative looking for competition, as you might see. There are many companies who experiment in virtual reality platforms. There are also many companies who connect people to places, right? But we have all of the above. And as you might see, the TripAdvisor is there as well. But actually, we see TripAdvisor as a possible exit strategy. So let's not think about them as competition. We can enrich them. Uh, in this journey, we had more than 2,000 user uh, development activities, uh, and we have been admitted to one of the biggest accelerators around the world. It's called Startup Bootcamp. We were selected as top 10 company out of 850 companies around the world. And we are fortunate enough to be supported by HP, Fly Dubai, and now we are going to one of the top three resorts in Turkey to film it for free. Like, we don't pay for anything. We go there and film. Um, this has been an epic journey for us. For this rocket ship to launch, we need fuel. This fuel is $250,000. Uh, 45,000 of those will be uh, used to create key experiences of key places in Georgia to promote it worldwide. 150,000 in total will, will be used for research and development of our platform. $100,000 will be used for marketing of our platform. And in the end, we will have the whole Georgian tourism potential ready to be uh, booked for the world. We'll have a platform ready to switch to user-generated virtual reality content. And we will have the full platform for Android as, as a first milestone for us. Thank you very much, and I'll be more than happy to show you our content at, at the break and answer your questions as well, and maybe show you our simplified financials as well. Thank you. Great. So you've done a very good job on your PR, getting two prime ministers and a deputy <laughs> prime minister to participate. We'll try. <laughs> that, that's huge. Um, so when you get to, you know, the, the, you mentioned that um, you will take the knowledge of the individual and apply it into the virtual s environment. Can you expand on how you will do that a little more? It's going to be an experience of place, right? It's going to show you what is, what is interesting about the place. It's going to be a streamlined experience where you can interactively pa choose your path of the content. So it's not going to be just a regular video. It's not going to be a photo. You're going to choose where to go. There will be waypoints. There will be information uh, balloons. And there will be also challenges buried in the virtual reality experience. So you're going to seek for, for future challenges when you get to the place, right? So in the virtual reality experience, you will, when you find hints of what, where the challenge is, you book the challenge. And when you come to Georgia, for example, you look for the place and you start uh, the quest for treasure. And on the way to, to quest to treasure, you're going to have deals and discounts coming, to, coming your way. So it's Pokemon Go for travel. Yes, it, it's Pinterest, Pokemon Go, and, yeah. and virtual reality wrapped into one. But is okay. it that? I mean, is it, is it that you want? So, so the primary hook right now in VR tourism is, is being able to experience a place without going yeah. to the place. And yeah. so you're saying that, do you want to do that for Georgia, or do you want to, to, aug to a certain degree, augment the experience mm -hmm. that someone has when they're in Georgia? Uh -huh. uh, it's going to be a little bit of both. 
we are beginning to, uh, f we, we have begun to film in Georgia, but it's not going to be only Georgia, right? We already are beginning to film Turkey. So it's going to be a worldwide platform, but we understand and we have realized that we cannot film the whole world, right? So we got to go to the uh, user generated route. So yeah. at the moment, we are con uh, generating content just because there are not enough content generators, especially so, so, in the so region. To a certain, would you agree with the statement that your business then is, is a platform? Is building sort of to a certain degree an advertising platform on top of VR? Yes. yes, yes. So any hotel and any restaurant in the world will be able to generate their own content, upload it, and make money. So that's and your have primary core. Yes, of course. Okay. I, I know. In the, in the long run. Yeah, gotcha. I know a potential partner for the user-generated content. There's a French company that won a business plan competition that Richard Branson sponsored that I was at, and uh, they're called Gyroptic. Yeah, and they have I know. A, do you know them? Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Well, for the rest of these people, <laughs> it's a, a 360 degree camera that's only about this big. It's beautifully designed and it, it provides a very immersive experience just yeah. on your phone. We are actually on the pre order list. All so. right, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> I love that. So, uh, the world is <laughs> getting yeah. Well, then we think alike. Like. Yes. And, and in a couple of weeks, we're going to have the first ever 360 streaming in Georgia. I think so, those guys are yes. great. Yeah, good. good. Uh, could you just explain a little bit of the relationship between Ling VR, Ling Wing, and VRex? Oh, it's a little bit I see the confusion. I see the confusion. Okay. We were going to go to this. Yeah, there are two teams, Ling Wing and, and VRex, right? And when this competition came along, we said, okay, we have several ideas. We have our main ideas, like Ling Wing is a separate entity and VRex is a separate entity. But we also had in mind the joint uh, experiment, so to speak, Ling VR. And we said, okay, why not apply all of them and see how it goes? Like, it doesn't hurt, right? And that's what we did. We applied, and we wanted to pitch in front of you guys and see what happens. But it can hurt because then your attention is divided. So, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of work to make this successful. How do you help make that successful as well all at the same time? Mm -hmm. Because running a company is your complete life. I understand. Yes. We I, had I, I would say like this. If, if you have one question, if you want to do one thing, which one will that be? That's the main oh, that's a good question. V Rex. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. I quit yeah. job because of V Rex. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. no question about that. Yeah. And I think Ling, Ling Wing is going to say the same because right. they also quit everything and focus yeah. on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. Any other questions? Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. Well done. And yeah. During the yeah, break. We'll do it after the, <laughs> at the break. Uh, okay. Coming up in a few minutes. Or... Pitching is the most interesting thing. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.